Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Johnny Kahn, and Jeff Spiegel has the night off. Well, it's a weekend football fans have been waiting for. After 36 long years, the return of the United States Football League. In this iteration of the USFL, well, they're determined to make it work this time around. And for their inaugural season, they've chosen Birmingham to be their host city. And Protective Stadium in Uptown Birmingham will be the center of the football universe tomorrow. We're at 6.30 p.m. The hometown Birmingham Stallions will play host to the New Jersey Generals for the first USFL game since all the way back in 1985. And for backers of the league, well, it's a long time coming. There's been plenty of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into resurrecting this once great spring football league. And come tomorrow night, fans not just in Birmingham but around the world will have a chance to watch a professional football game. And the Stallions, well, they can't wait to put on a show. I think for these players, they're really excited about that opportunity. Uh, I just hope when the lights come on and they turn the lights on in the stadium and there are people here in the stands, uh, I just hope our players will stick to what we did in practice every day. I'm a team first guy. Like I'm going to give everything I have for my team. I don't care about stats. I, I, I want to win. You know, Birmingham, of course, we're the home team. And luckily, we get the home stadium. So it's very, very important. You know, we got to represent not just for the stallion, but for the whole city. From the USFL to the SEC now, and who says there's an offseason from football? As the Crimson Tide were back on the practice field this week, as they're continuing to prepare for their annual A-Day spring game, which, of course, is open to the public, and it's a culmination of spring practice, and it gives Bama fans their first glimpse of the Tide in 2022. And Thursday, when Nick Saban met with reporters, he stressed the importance of fan support at this year's A-Day game and wants as many people as possible to come out to Bryant-Denny Stadium to support the Tide. For us to have a great crowd on Saturday, regardless of what the weather is, to support the players, to support the team, uh, I think this sends a huge message. Love having a great crowd there. The players really, really enjoy it. They love playing for you. Uh, and I think it really shows, you know, your support for them and the program. So we'd appreciate, you know, uh, y'all coming out for a day. To the Diamond now, a nice day to do your homework outside. Enjoy a double tipper UAB taking on Old Dominion. Blazers' Tyler Eau Claire had it going on early. Beautiful strikeout there. And then later, that's another backwards K. He finished with seven on the day. Top of the third. Eau Claire this time going to leave it a little too far out over the plate. Tommy Bell is going to take that solo shot to left center field. The Monarchs take a 1-0 lead, and then the fourth inning with a man on first. Nick Pantos, good old pickoff attempt, gets his man caught in a rundown. He would tag him out. However, the Old Dominion Monarchs, they spoil the day for UAB. They take game one, 9-5. Got some great SEC baseball tonight. Alabama currently taking on Tennessee up in the Smoky Mountains. And then looking forward to Auburn and Mississippi State. You know, Johnny, I always like seeing what Coach Saban's going to wear on spring day. He always has those nice sport oh, coats. Yeah, the real question, is he going to be able to wear them on uh, Saturday, James? Uh, yeah, he might get a little wet, but he'll wear them anyway. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a look at the red.